Hi, I'm Andy Davey. I'm the spokesperson and site manager for IVA.co.uk. Today I want to talk about setting up an IVA, what you should look for, the do's and don'ts. When you're in debt, you feel very, very lonely. Uh, you can feel very depressed. And when you come to the point where you realise that you have to do something about it, you are realistically admitting failure. And that's one of the hardest things. You're admitting failure to yourself, but more importantly to your family. So what you find is that when you contact the company, you are really um, so low that you are looking for the first sympathetic ear. And uh, once you get that person on the end of the phone who says that yes, they can do this, they can help you, you tend to go with that company. In reality, what you should do is take a step back and speak to three or four companies. What you need to do is to try and confide in family or friends, or to use a forum where you will find people in the same boat as you. All we will do is give you support and advice. After all, everybody on that forum is either going through or has been through exactly the same as you. When you've spoken to several companies, the company that you feel the most confident about and the most at ease about, really try and take the time to go and visit the IP, have a face-to-face -face meeting. You may have to have a day off work, you may have to travel 100 miles, but believe me, it'll be time and money well spent. You're entering into a five-year agreement and you must have a good relationship with your IP. At the end of the day, a five years is a long, long time. And because you're on a tight budget, you will find that things will go wrong. And you need to have access to your IP who can give you 99 times out of 100 the answer to your problems. Finally, the most important part of your IP is to get the expenditure correct. Do not be dictated to by your IP. There are no maximums allowed in expenditure, just reasonable and realistic amounts. If you feel, for example, that your food budget should be £450 and you're asked by your IP to reduce it to £400, do not do it, because that £50 could make a difference between you having a successful IVA or your IVA failing. Five years is a long, long time and you must get this part of your IVA correct. After all, it is in everybody's interest that your IVA is successful, in your IP's interest and in your creditor's interest, so everyone must work together to make sure that is successful. Let's remember that an IVA is a wonderful vehicle. In 99 times out of 100, it will give a far better return to creditors than bankruptcy, but only if it's successful. It's not all about having your IVA accepted, it's all about having it concluded successfully.